Hey guys, it's Nano Ago here. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to download Zombies Mod Pack, Too Many Items, Mod Loader, an HG Texture Pack, and Single Player Commands for 1.6.6 of Minecraft. New version of Zombies Mod Pack, 4.25. Go ahead, go ahead and download that. I'll make a new guide. And anyway, I'll also be making a single player guide just to download the single player commands. Just one of them. But anyway, just want to find the current dot. I'm just showing you guys how to download them, what they look like. Um, this is going to be Mac, so download the GitHub. It's instant download. And then for the AdFly ones, just look up in the top right. It will say, please wait. Um, if there, it says download or anything right here, don't click on it. It's going to download something else. So now what I want to do is I'm going to go in to my library application support. Minecraft. I'm going to delete all this mod stuff. And all this other stuff. So I'll just log in. I'll make a new guide. It will make new everything. So go into everything MC or wherever you. I have all the stuff downloaded. I'll have this link in the description. HD texture packs first, so clear that. Um, I like the better grass, so patch that. And now you want to go back to your library. I'll just leave this open. Minecraft texture packs. I have another thing with all my texture packs. They have to be .zip files, and so what will happen to make a .zip file? You'll either download it as a .zip file, or what you'll download as a full for, for, for Doku Craft. There was one folder and it had three of them in it, and you just take those from it. So now that you're done with that, exit out. Now here comes the fun part. Um, wrong thing to do. Open up Minecraft GR. Back up now. Open now. And you want to click, you want to highlight everything. All your folders. Just um, the mod loader, mod pack, 4.25, single player, and too many items. This is just my mods for zombies because you have to um, customize them. So you just want to open everything. And you want to open the MCMTP folder. You don't want to delete anything, but you want to find mod loader first. So press F3. Found it. Highlight one thing inside there. Copy it all. And highlight like a class or something. And then copy it and paste it in there. Close that. Um, you want to find mod pack. You want to go to classes. Highlight everything. Copy it. Once again, just paste it, apply to all, replace. Now what you want to do is you want to go back to your application support. You want to make a new folder named mods, and inside that folder you need to put zombie, Z-O-M-B-E, and what, and then from there, from there, your, um, mod pack you'll go to config highlight everything in here and then paste it in there and to enable a mod it will say uncomment and it will have a number sign in front of it just delete the number sign make sure you know what enables the mod and stuff like that so you don't have to have those open anymore now go to too many items highlight everything paste it in there, replace that one item. You don't want to do that, you want to make sure you highlight something inside there. Or just continuously not do it right. And then highlight everything and replace it again. Now you want to recompile the folder. And I'll show you a little bit of each. So. Since you recompiled, you can either keep this or not, or whatever you want to do. So open up an HD texture pack or whichever, whatever texture pack you want. 
you'll get that immediate sign that says plugins failed and um, as you can see it says too many items by Marla Graffin um, so anyway you want to go into options you want to change um, to whatever you normally have you have to do it every single time you download something new so we'll just wait for that to load and now go into controls this is what I like to use for all my stuff right menu is right of the keep of the spacebar and it. it's the alt option and then I put the apostrophe for toggle fog but even though it says none it will still work um, when you click it but anyway as you can see I'm flying so I'm gonna start off by showing you the, the other mods this is the too many items I recommend saving it with nothing in there first off and then just grabbing everything um, once you click it once with a left click you can just that gives you 64 or the highest possible it can shift gives you 111 of everything no matter what you click on and then you can just load it back up which is pretty nice and then if you left click something it just gives you one when it normally gives you that it normally gives you a lot but anyway that's the next thing um, now that I typed in C it comes up with a chat box type thing which it normally doesn't have that multiplayer does you can type jump which teleports you you can type in set jump and space 10 and now every single time I jump I don't move too far forward no I did move quite far but uh, I don't like I normally would um, another one is fly um, you aim up wherever you want to go just type it backwards pretty much to T turn it off. The set jump is normally one, so and to actually fly with zombies mod pack is to just press whatever button you have it allowed for. I like to have cheater on so it doesn't allow fall damage at all. And one that I also that I really like is called light as you can see it was just previously dark before but now it isn't with the fly mod um, fly and then you can put 10 so now you're flying at 10 speed and then you just aim wherever you want to go and then if you want to go up you just look up and type in and then just do the W a key which is pretty nice so anyway um, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this helped you guys out. And hope you guys enjoyed it.